While working on Power BI reports, there will be a need to do some repetitive tasks like sending some notification mails to our co-workers or to the clients or to our managers. Whatever be the scenario, it is a repetitive task which will be a boring one and many a times we will think if it could be somehow automated. Microsoft has provided us a wonderful tool called Power Automate that will help us with these activities. Hello viewers, in this video we are going to use Power Automate in Power BI reports to send emails. Also, for each and every email sent, I am going to log some basic details about the email in an Excel online in SharePoint to keep track of the email sent. Subscribe to my channel to get alerts on my new videos on technical front. Before getting into the demo part, let me first give you a brief overview of Power Automate. So Power Automate and Power BI are a part of Microsoft Power Platform. And the Power Automate in particular is a RPA tool, which is the robotic process automation tool, which is going to help us automate workflows and business processes. And in this automation process, we are not going to do any code. That is, Power Automate is a low code platform in which it is just going to be a simple drag and drop mechanism or some configuration would be needed to automate the repetitive task. The HR of an organization will be tracking the employee details. Consider this scenario where the HR is going to access this Power BI report. They are going to look at the data and trigger an email to the employees who are celebrating their birthday today. And we are going to use Power Automate to trigger that email. This is the sample data that I have created in Power BI Desktop. This table is a very small table that is going to have employee number, employee name, employee mail ID and the date of birth details which are the year, month and the day along with the manager ID. Since this is a demo video, I'm not going to spam others mailbox. So I have given my mail ID in both the employee mail ID and in the manager email ID. The reason why we are having manager mail ID here is that I'm going to send a mail to the employee mail ID copying the manager's mail ID. Now that I have this table created, I'm going to publish this report to Power BI service. So I'll click on publish. And it is going to ask me for the destination. I'm going to select my workspace. You can see here that the report is now published to Power BI service. And here in the Power BI service, you can see the report as well as the semantic model of the HR data that we have just now published. I'm going to add the Power Automate visual. So click on edit. It is going to display these three panes as usual, which are the filters, visualizations and the data pane. So in the visualizations pane, you can see this visual, which is the Power Automate. Click on that visual, which is going to give us the detailed steps on what need to be done for any Power Automate to work. So I'm going to first resize it because I'm going to have it as a button and when I click on that button, an email has to be generated. In the visualizations pane, you have the provision to add the Power Automate data fields here. In my case, I'm going to select the records from this table and for these employees, an email has to be sent. So the fields here are going to be my input values to the Power Automate visual. I'm going to send the mail to the employee mail ID. So I'll add that data field here. Then I'm going to copy that mail to the manager mail ID. So I'll add this column also. And in my subject, I'm going to write a text like hi followed by some employee name. So I need this employee name also to be dynamically populated. So I'll get that field also added to my data list. So now that we have given the input values to the Power Automate, next we need to configure this Power Automate visual to send that email. For which, on the ellipsis that you see here and then click on edit. Then click on this Microsoft Power Automate. 
So here you can see the various flows that you can trigger. So when I click on a button, what is the action that need to be taken or when it is going to be an API connection. So I, I can get the forecast for today. Like you can write whatever flow that you want. And there are some Power BI templates also which we can make use of. In this case, I'm going to create a new template from the instant cloud flow. What should happen when a Power BI button is clicked? So when the button is clicked, the new step should be to trigger an email. So let me give Office 365 Outlook and here I can assign some action. So I need to send an email. So you can pick an appropriate action. I'm going to select send an email. So this is the email format. To whom should the mail be sent? Basically, we are going to send mails from the table dynamically. So you need to click on this add dynamic content. There, select the Power BI data employee mail ID. So we are going to send the mail to the employee mail ID. Next, what should be the subject? Happy birthday. In the body, I'll give hi followed by the employee name. Wish you a very happy birthday. Wish you a very happy birthday. Regards, HRT. Then click on save. And then you can give a name to this particular automate flow. So I'm going to say birthday mail and then I'll click on save and apply. So now we have created a flow to send an email. Let's try to run this flow and see if this email gets triggered or not. So let's go back to the report. We have got this run flow here. What we have to do is go to the reading view. But to run this flow, we need to give some inputs from this table. So I'm going to go by today's date. This person has got his birthday today, which is 17 July. Again, one other record here. So we have got only two birthdays here for 17 July. So I'll select these two and then I'll run the flow. Okay, now it says the email is triggered. So I'll have to go to my Outlook and see if I've got those two birthday wishes or not. Yes, you can see these two mails here. In this email, we can see only the two ID here, but the CC is missing. Now let's go back to the flow and then add the CC there. So I'll click on edit and then click on the ellipsis for more options and then again click on edit. Click on the Microsoft Power Automate. My flow name is birthday mail. I'll go ahead and edit it. So in this step, in send an email. So I have the two there along with the subject and the body, but CC is missing. So I'll go to show advanced options. There I can specify the CC address. Here again, click on add dynamic content. Where we can get the record from the table. I'm going to select Power BI data manager mail ID. So clicking on that is going to add that field here to CC. So now go ahead and give save and apply. Go back to the report 
and then we have got these two records selected right now go to the reading view and then click on run flow here i can see two emails got generated so my id in the two and again my id in the cc this is how the power automate send email functionality works now now let's go ahead and add the relevant details of the email that was sent into a log file for which i'm going to use the sharepoint site in the sharepoint communication site we are now going to create a excel file there so go to new click on excel workbook and you can rename the name of that excel to be birthday log or whatever name you want it to be i'm going to give birthday underscore log and that is going to be the name of my excel so initially this excel sheet is going to be blank i have not created any table or i have not created any columns here what i am going to do is using the power automate flow i'm going to create a table in that excel so i'll click on new instant cloud flow this is going to be a totally new flow it doesn't join with the existing flow that we have created to send birthday emails because the log file is going to be created only once and once created you are just going to insert records into that particular excel or the table so i'm going to create a separate flow to create a table in that excel now click on new step here click on excel online and i'm going to create a table so click on create table in excel online so here you need to provide the relevant details location is going to be the communication site and the document library is going to be documents because that is where i've created this file and when you browse through the file you'll be able to see the birthday log file which i've created there table range so this is the range of the column names for that particular table i am going to have only four columns which are the date time the employee name employee mail id and the manager mail id so i'll give the table range to be a1 colon d1 because it's going to be only four columns table name this is something which we have to manually give table name is nothing but the table that is going to be created in this excel workbook in this particular sheet which is sheet 1 so i'll give the table name to be birthday column names so this is not going to be the dynamic column that we will fetch from the data table rather it's going to be only the column names that we want it to be present in the first row so i have to manually give the column names here my first column should be something like date time and the second column to be employee name employee mail manager mail so these are the four columns that i want to be present in that particular excel and if you are going to give more than one column you can separate it using comma then click on save and then i'll give save and apply this flow does not need any input values i can directly run the flow from here so i'll so i've clicked on run and inside this i'm going to give run flow the flow has started we can monitor it using this particular flow runs page in the history we can see that the flow has succeeded verify if this flow has really succeeded you can go back to the excel workbook where you can see these four columns to be created so these are the column names which i have provided in the flow
Now let's make some modifications to our original flow. So here click on the ellipsis and then click on edit. Microsoft Power Automate. Once after the email is sent to the recipients, we are going to update those details to the log file. So I'm going to edit this particular flow. So here you can see send an email. Now I'm going to add a new step here. Where again I'm going to select Excel online. And now I'm going to insert a record. So I'll select add a row into a table. And the location is going to be communication site. The document library is documents. File is birthday log. Table is the one which we have created with this birthday. This is the table inside the Excel. Once after you select the name of the table, it is automatically going to display you the various column names. And I am going to populate the column names dynamically. Under date time, I am going to update the timestamp. Under employee name, I am going to give Power BI data employee name. Under mail, it is going to be the employee mail ID. And under manager mail, it is the manager mail ID. So now that we have linked all the columns in this particular flow, I'm going to save and apply. Now go back to the report. And when you check the Excel, it's going to be a blank file only with the column names. Now go to the reading view in Power BI service, then save the changes. I'm going to select the employees who have birthdays on 17th July. I'm going to run the flow. Now it says it is triggered. When you go to the mailbox, you can see these two mails being triggered with two as my mail ID and CC again as my mail ID. So the next step is to go and check the log file. So in the birthday log file, we can see these two records also being updated, indicating that mails have been sent to these two employees. There is a lot more that you can do with Power Automate. And this is just a sample for sending email and getting them tracked onto the log file. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned for more technical videos.